As the school year winds down, Billings educators are already looking forward to new lessons for next year. At Senior High, I spoke with an English teacher who's tackling a contemporary crisis with a classic text. If you paid any attention in high school English... The big nurse had her next maneuver underway the day after the fishing trip. These lines might ring a bell. Or maybe you watched the movie instead to pass your class. Do you think it might be possible to turn that music down so maybe a couple of the boys could talk? Your hand is staining my window. In either case, the stories of Randall Patrick McMurphy and Nurse Ratchet's psychiatric ward will now live on in the hands of senior high school students who will start the new school year with dozens of new copies of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. The big idea is to have students research about there's seven to ten primary characters and what we're going to want to do is have students study the characters, study their behaviors, and then connect it to a mental illness in the DSMV, and then write a separate research paper or presentation on the mental illness itself to share with the class. Researching the story and learning an important lesson for themselves. To just get kids thinking about their mental state in general, right? Like more of a exercise and kind of metacognition of their own behaviors by analyzing the behaviors of these characters. He hopes to open up a conversation about mental health that doesn't end when the assignment is due. Ideally what it's going to do is create space for these kids throughout the rest of their life to openly discuss mental health in an unreserved way. The books were purchased with a grant from the Education Foundation for Billings Public Schools. The nonprofit group awarded over $100,000 in grants for Billings classrooms this spring, their largest annual payout ever. We're able to work with the teachers to say, you know, their budgets are limited. What do you want to do that's not going to be supported by the normal budget that you get as an educator? <laughs> For senior high school students next fall, that means a reflection on classic literature, themselves, and the world around them. We live in a world that's ripe with mental health issues, and I think just by empowering the students to discuss it, to talk about it, to know how to research it, and then to also communicate with other people through presentations, that that's going to be an advantage that serves them well. You can help us support childhood literacy in the community as well in partnership with the Scripps Foundation and Scholastic Books. Q2 is working to get free books in the hands of kids across our area. When you donate to Give a Child a Book, that's the link right there on your screen, you can change a life.